What's up guys, I over here and welcome to a brand new video on the channel. Now in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys 10 free Photoshop alternatives that can suit all of your needs depending on what you're looking for. I'm going to be linking them all down below in the description. So before we begin, make sure to hit that like button down below. And with that being said, let's get started. So the first one on the list is a very popular choice and it is GIMP. Now GIMP is a robust free photo editor and the UI is pretty complex but it is similar to Photoshop and the pros about GIMP is that it's very customizable and featured packed. It has all the options and tools you need such as layers, brushes, masks, and levels and it's also open source so there are a lot of community made plugins available as well. Now, if you want something that's a little bit lighter and better for a PC with lower specs, you can also use paint.net. Now, paint.net is also very robust and it also has community created plugins and the UI is a little bit more simple and there are slightly less features, but it's an amazing option nonetheless. Now, if you want something for vector images and vector design, so where the pixels don't matter and you want to make logos or things for merchandise, then Inkscape is also a very good option. Now, another option that you can also go with is Photo POS Pro. Now, Photo Pro has a really nice UI, which is both advanced and simple. You can choose which layout you want. So it's really good if you want to start off with a simple layout, then move to a more expert layout where you can modify color curves and levels. And the only thing is that you are limited to having output images that are 1024 by 2014, which is big enough, and you can buy the full version for $25. Now, if you want something that's used a lot in the workplace and it's good for publishing content, then you can use Canva. And Canva is really good for beginners because you have over thousands of templates to choose from, even in the free version. And it's really good for creating graphics such as posters or banners. And you can also make you know, cards and flyers and it's a really good beginner's option. Now, if you want something that's only available online and you don't want to download anything, then I would recommend Pixar, Pixlr. It's very, very simple and it has all the tools you need to make any sort of graphics. There's also filters as well as moderate level tools. And this is what I used to use back in the day and I think it's still one of my favorite options because the learning curve isn't bad at all. Now, if you want something specific for photo editing, then I would say you should go with Photoscape. Now, Photoscape has a lot of photo specific features such as raw conversion, photo splitting, and even GIF creation. And the interface is very different from other programs, but once again, this is because it is aimed towards purely photo editing. Now, another photo editing tool I would recommend is Photor, and it's really, really good for you know small touch-ups, for small, slightly editing selfies and pictures, and it has one feature which is really cool, which is the batch editing feature. So what you can actually do is you can edit you know hundreds of photos at once with the same edits that you want with one click so you can you know just put all the pictures in and it'll run through and apply the same editing features to all of those pictures now if you want something that's more arts related then I would say you should go with Krita. It's a free arts program that is targeted towards drawings and cartoons and making comics. And the really cool thing is that once again, it is open source. And another alternative to that for arts and painting is Paint Tool Sci, which also has various features such as canvases and layering. And it's also very, very easy to use. And it has really, really cool options which are targeted towards painting such as color blending. And it's a very lightweight program. So if you have a computer that doesn't have crazy specs, you can run it as well. And a bonus program that you can use, which doesn't really count, but I'm gonna throw it in anyways, is Photoshop Express. Now this is the closest thing to Photoshop because it's made by the same company. And the really cool thing about it is that it is available on multiple platforms. So you can even edit photos on your phone, except this uh, Photoshop Express has mostly basic photo editing features such as basic touch-ups, content adding like text and small things like that. And it's targeted towards once again, basic users that wanna do like very simple modifications, but it's another option you have available. But that's about it for this video guys. Hopefully you did enjoy it. And if you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching. My name is Iovo and I'm signing out.